in today's video i'm doing this video to encourage the snake beginners and the investors or the attending snake farmers because what is happening in this snake industry i'm not happy with it so there is no any business that you are doing that you want to succeed in that business that you will not encounter problem so but what is happening in this industry i'm not happy with it after some people after that they have spent their thousands their millions on this family some some people after they have started after a month some will quit after like five months some will quit after like eight months some will quit after like one year some people will quit so they don't even bother to to even think what they have spent on that project once they lose interest whatever you tell them as a snake expert as an experienced snake farmers whatever you tell them they won't they won't take that advice anymore because they have lost interest already so but the problem still persists in this snake industry which i'm not happy with it so i just let me first share my experience what i just faced recently now among my snake orch i changed soil of one pen among all those pen since i changed that soil so my snake started dying so within a month sometimes i might lose like two to three in one single pen the other pen even within a month i might not receive re record any casualty most of the other pen i don't usually re record any casualty but from that one single pen which i change the soil sometimes i record like four within a month sometimes but because the casualty is not rampant due to good farm management so i begin to study study what is going on but i have concluded that it's because of the soil that has changed so but i didn't have time to look for another soil so but we are used to casualty in snake farming so because what the uh, casualty we have no matter how you you care for your snake so you must have casualty in snake farming so but there are some there is some casualty that is normal there are some that is not normal so but due to good farm, farm management i didn't take it serious so sometimes i have like two sometimes i have like four in a month so that is how the thing continue so until this month that in that single pen i pick like seven casualty at a time which has never happened since i've started snake farming in a single pen so even all those snakes are big are jumbo size which i can sell like 1500 a single one so if i if i took count since that casualty has started i lost like 20 pieces of jumbo size in the space of 3d months and the cause of this this is that where i used to pick soil for my snake so the soil is not there anymore so i need to look elsewhere 
So, well, I didn't take it serious because I thought it was a normal casualty. So, that 20 pieces, if you multiply it by 1,500, is something. But we are used with different challenge. Before, we can, before you can call yourself an expert on any profession, so it means you are able to face of challenges and you are able to overcome it before you can call yourself an expert. So, but what I just discovered is that most of these this new beginner, whenever they started facing challenges, majority of these new beginners or an investor, when the, the problem arise, when they started facing challenges, when they started encounter problem, they decided to quit. And a quitter can never win. So, ability to overcome challenges, that is what makes you an expert. So whenever you want to embark on snake farming, either as an investor or someone that wants to start in a small quantity, so have it in mind that you will face challenges, different challenges. But when the challenge challenges arrive, when you started facing challenge as a snake farmer, the next thing is to find solution. But if you don't have adequate passion, you might not be able to patient enough to continue. That is the reason why whenever people come to us, we don't value their money. So the first thing we usually do is to change their orientation about snake farming. So what matters to us is their sources when they started. So our happiness is that they succeed. They succeed after they have spent they have spent money on it. So after that, they have spent a lot of money on their farm. So our happiness is that they succeed. So no amount can buy knowledge. So the little amount we only ask from you as a training fees or as a consultant fees. It's just to add value to what you want to embark on so that you know the value of what you want to embark on. That's why we are collecting that fees from you. So the amount you are paying is not commensurate with what we give to you. But to value what you want to embark on, that's why we are collecting all this money. So that when you started, you can commit it during the work. So but most of the investors, so the problem they usually the problem they are facing is who will manage their van very well. That's their problem. But instead of majority of them to find solution, they will, they, will, they will just quit. So I'm using this uh, video to encourage all my subscribers who are like this snake beginner who just some people who just started rearing snake or the intending people who are about to start their own snake farm that you should have it in mind that you will face a lot of challenges challenges but ability to have to overcome all these challenges make you an expert so you can succeed without facing different challenges as a snake farmers so all those jumbo side that i said i lost majority of them has produced nothing less than 100 pieces of snake for me so i don't need to th think about it too much because when you are caring for your snake you won't want one to die so but i don't lost because they have produced a lot of snake for me and i know the cause of it which have rectified so i've gotten another sand i've replaced that sand and since then 
everything is normal so when you face problem the next thing is to find solution happy with what is happening so at Alubai Cast Nepal so because I used to discuss with some with many of my colleagues in this new industry we share different idea we discuss a lot about the peoples the beginner the investors so we are not we are not happy after that people have spent a lot of money on snake farming and they just quit in a day without you thinking of what they have spent so i'm doing doing this video to encourage all my subscribers that when you started your snake farming have it in mind that you face a lot of challenge so but if you have adequate passion for snake farming you won't quit you won't quit so make sure that you have developed passion for snake farming before you start so when you face challenges you will be able to overcome it because if you don't face different challenge you can't succeed in life so that is why we always tell some people that farm practical knowledge always undergo farm practical training and always stick to your mentor some people after they have undergone the training because that is what i just experienced recently after that after the farm practical training when people come to me after the training i always instruct them i always give them instruction that always call me whenever you are facing different child always call me but some people after the training they will not care about their mentor again because they have access to information on media so they will abandon their mentor so they will be applying what they are seeing online and what they don't know is that all the theoretical aspects or all what most of people are saying online online it's not everything that are practicable it's not everything that you can practice on your farm if you do some you will snake, your snake will start dying so after that they have lost majority of their snake after that they have lost interest on snake farming they will now later come back to their mentor that and they will start complaining no matter how you you persuade them you give them solution they will quit so these are things these are things that is happening in this new industry so which we need to address just make sure you have adequate passion once you have adequate passion you have enough passion for snake farming i'm quite sure with prayer and with hard, hard work and dedication you will succeed once you face problem the next to make sure you find solution to it you will overcome it so this is my little advice for all the attending snake farmers all the investors so whenever i use my teeth to cut cola not for you you might not you can decide not to eat it but if i advise you in this snake farming make sure you take it and you use it welcome to alberta snake farm you are chatting the coaches, the snake professor, Lupedia of Snake Farmer. Thank you for watching.